It's good to start the day with some goodwill, to remind yourself as you go through the day that this is your main intention. You don't want to harm anybody, because you know if you harm other people, it's going to come back to you. There's no way of escaping that. So spread your thoughts out. Think of them as extending in all the different directions, east, west, north, south, above and below. And if I ask yourself if there's anybody in that radius that you'd find hard to feel goodwill for, that would you actually like to see suffer? Because this is what this is aimed at, is training us not to take pleasure in the suffering of others. Because it's a very miserable form of pleasure. If you find somebody that you have trouble feeling goodwill for, but stop and think about it. Why? And what is goodwill? It's the wish that that person be happy. That, of course, will happen only if that person acts in ways that will lead to happiness. And that, too, reflects back on you. You're going to have to act in ways that lead to genuine happiness as well. That would be a much better world. Instead of all the back and forth and the recrimination and what the Buddha calls wera, which is translated as animosity or enmity. And it's basically when two people get into a back and forth. And there's no way of telling when it's going to end, unless you decide, okay, it's going to end with you. You're not going to retaliate whatever that person has done. You wish that person well, and if there's anything that person can do to give rise to true happiness, and you can help, you're happy to help. And this creates an, an environment in which you can go through the world, and you realize, okay, I'm going through the world harmlessly. Don't mean ill to anybody. And there's no reason that any ill should come back at you. This is the attitude also that helps protect you from your own past bad actions. If you do really have genuine goodwill for all, the Buddha said it's like having a large river of water. You throw a little bit of salt in the water and you can still drink the water in the river because the water is so much more. If you took that same amount of salt and put it in a tiny cup of water, you couldn't drink it. So make your mind expansive, make your goodwill expansive. Try not to get involved in any back and forths. There's a case of some debt to A young monk came to see him one day, and the monk had obviously gotten a black eye. And then he was complaining about another monk who had hit him. And some debt said, Well, you would hit him first. And the monk kept saying, No, 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 no. He, he came up to hit me. And some debt kept insisting, Well, no, you hit him first. So the monk went and complained to another more senior monk. And as some Dato explained, he said, okay, that there's animosity between the two of them. Maybe it wasn't in this lifetime, but at some other time it goes back and forth. And there's no reason to keep the back and forth on going, because there's no way to go back and clear up the records as to who started it. These things can go way back. So don't let them continue. You can stop them here. This, world, you, this way you can live in the world for its benefit and your benefit at the same time. <clears throat> 